Hello, my name is Melissa Holden, and I don't have a catchphrase. I still don't have a catchphrase. I was telling my kids that is my catchphrase because they're like, well, why don't you just say something like, hi, that can be your catchphrase. I was like, well, my catchphrase is, I'm sorry, I don't have a catchphrase. No, I still don't have a catchphrase. And they're like, <laughs> anyway. I was wanting to tell a story that I don't usually tell. And I was remembering all my funny stories from living, not living, but for touring Europe and staying in Bavaria and in Germany. Most of the stories are from Germany. One of my favorite stories is from Belgium, though. When I was staying with this, the father, the man of the house worked at, a, at Ford in Belgium. But all the kids, even the little kids, I was 12, so I thought I was all grown up. But the do there was lots of kids in the family. And the one of the daughters, she was like about seven years old or something. But she spoke fluently like six languages or something. And I was like, okay, so anyway, we were driving somewhere and what I would do would say a say what the word was in English and then she would list it off in all these different languages and one of them was Flemish and that's the funny stories that I'll, I'll tell right now. I pointed at a sticker and I said, sticker! And she goes, says all these different languages and then she goes, sticker! And I was like, oh, that must be Flemish. <laughs> anyway, that's my funny story about the Flemish language. But the story I was going to tell was in a big city in Germany. Um, I don't know what city. No, that's too far south. It wasn't Eike. Uh, maybe, no, Hamburg is, could have been. I can't remember. They all blur together at the time. I'd have to look it up. But one of the places I stayed with, the guy was a dentist. And that's where I learned the word da, zan. Zahn. Z-A-H-N. Anyway, but he had a swimming pool in his basement. But these these people they that I'm going to tell this story about, I don't remember where it was in Germany, but all the houses, it was cookie cutter houses. All of them looked exactly the same. And we were going to stay there. And there's usually like two to three people per family. And we'd stay for about three to four nights in each place. But anyway, a bunch of people that stayed next door and all around me were people. And we decided that we were all going to get together and go. I think it was Hamburg because I think we were going to get a hamburger. At Hamburg because we thought that would be really novel. And when I got to McDonald's, because I was dying for a McDonald's hamburger. I saw the prices were just way, way, because we, I'd already, I had money, but I didn't have it, um, what's it called, converted, where you change it to marks, and so I didn't have enough marks to get the, get, it wasn't, it was just more expensive than what I thought, I didn't think I would need that much, because most of the time the people fed us, we didn't really, it was like souvenirs was what I bought, and I didn't really, we'd been in Germany for a long time, because we were dating and Bavaria and we went to Switzerland and we were all over the place and I was getting souvenirs with my money for my family which I didn't get enough and when we came home I went to a, a town in Michigan and bought souvenirs because the ones I bought in Europe believe it or not say made in China <sighs> so stupid and then the ones that I bought in America were authentically ones that were made and the countries and the were actual Bavarian things. But anyway, that's not my story. My story is how I got I got lost because I decided I was going to come home on my own. And I can't remember what happened and how I actually found my way home. But I just remember the feeling of so much remorse and scare, being scared. Because there I was and all the houses looked the same. And I was by myself walking trying to find where I was going again. And I couldn't go ask for help because I didn't speak the language. I was like about 12 years old and my son is 12. He's very competent, but I still, I wouldn't want him to be in that situation. It was really scary. I think the people were playing outside in the yard and they saw me and they came over and got me and spoke English. But 
Anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it.